Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nog. Welcome along to episode number six of Human Resource Machine. Last time we sorted out some vowels from our strings. Today we're going to go on to duplicate removals. So um, I guess if we've already like... You're fired. Haha, just kidding. But I do have a note here from your other supervisor. She's out sick today, but she says it's time to eliminate inefficiencies. And that's that. Alright, so basically, yeah, if we've already seen the value before, then we want to discard it. So, as always, we're going to start by doing our copy. So that's going to be the loop position. Okay. So, we're going to grab something from the inbox. We're going to copy it to... Oh, we're also going to need another variable here, though. So we're going to need loop position. We're also going to need char count. This is going to tell us how many elements we have in the array. Char... Or car count? I don't care. Char... <laughs> count. Alright. So, also going to want to copy then to char count. So, inbox. And I'm going to do copy to char count. Bump the char count. So that's going to do that. Now we need to loop. We need to loop. So maybe we need to Max loop. Okay, so that's going to do that. So let's let's imagine, right? We move the C to zero, so that gives us one item in the in the. Although it's a position zero, we still have one item in the um, array. So that puts a max loop at one. So then we need to do. Okay, so bump that down to one. If we're at zero, that means we've reached the end. So we're going to copy from... <sighs> Wait, so I, I, I'm going to restart this. Because we need to keep, I, th I kind of feel like we need to keep track of quite a few of the things here. So, we need to keep the zero. So, we're going to have loop pause. So, loop position is going to be the current point of the loop. Okay, I'm going to need array length. So we're going to copy from here, and then we need to set that, and we need to set that. Saying our array length is zero, and we're currently at position zero as well. So, take something from the inbox. Two seconds, guys. All right, guys, apologies for that. Let's get back to it. So, then we take one from the inbox. So, then we're going to do uh, 
Alright, so we know what the array length is. So, take it from the inbox. I want to copy from, I want to copy to. There. So that will copy to the array length to the next available one in the array. Okay. So now. Let's just try that out a minute. Just to make sure I'm doing what I think I'm doing. Okay. So now we need to start looping. Copy from the array length. And if it's zero, then we're going to move it to the outbox. And... jump back to here we need to reset the loop position but not the array so we need to do this and we'll jump back to there Alright, so now we need to, to set a working char. So we'll just call it char. So we also need to copy. Take the inbox, copy it to there. Copy it to there. So if it's zero. We're going to copy the, it to there, then move it to the outbox. If it's not zero, So far, so good. If it's zero, why am I copying it to the array length though? Copy into that twice. I don't want to do that. Copy to the array length. Bump the array length. Copy from array length That's why I was doing that, wasn't it? Yes. 
Alright, so. Right, if array length is zero, bump the array length. Copy from. Copy from. Nah, it's, it's not the best way to do that. Copy to there. Subtract from here. Zero. I right, so set it to there, set it to there. Do that minus that. So if it's zero, we know it's the same character. So then we want to just reset everything. Which would be that. So if it's not zero, then we need to bump the loop position. And then we need to jump back to here. But no, because we don't want to be copying the array length straight away, do we? Alright, so. Copy from here. Copy to here. Copy from here. Copy to here. That's what we're going to want to do. So it's going to be kind of like that, right? Then, take it from the inbox. Copy to here. The working char. So now starts the loop. So we're going to subtract. Nope. We're going to copy from array length. No, we do need to copy it to there. Let's have a zero flag. So then we're going to copy from the length and copy it to the zero flag every time, just before we get this here from here. Okay, so copy to here, copy to there. Actually, if it's zero, Yeah, copy to there. So copy from zero flag. If it's zero, we know we're at the first item. So we're going to bump up the array length. Copy from here. Copy to array length. Bump 
Bumpfen. Move it to the outbox. Bump up the array. And then we go back to the beginning. I just want to bump up the array there. We also want to bump up the... And then bump up that, copy that to the zero flag, which will give us the maximum ceiling, because we're going to deduct from that each time we loop round. Right. Let's go to this jump. If it's not zero, though... We're going to want to copy from loop position, subtract from there. If that is zero, then we know we're on the same. So if that's the same, we can go back to here. This is getting confusing. If it's not zero, then we need to bump up the loop position, bump down the zero flag, and then we need to jump to here. All right, I, I don't know about this. This is... All right, let's just run through it. Let's see what happens. Overrode, didn't it? Run through this again. Step back. So we have an E. Copy to the char. Why are we copying from zero flag? If it's zero, which it's not, copy from the loop position. It's not zero, so increment the loop position. Oh, hold on. I always need to copy it here first. Copy it to the array position. All right, let's, let's run this instead. Grab another B. So 
something's not quite incrementing rightly here. Alright, did it for the first one. Right, this is a bit of a better example then. Copy it to there. Copy it to char. Zero flag. If it's zero, copy from char. Send it to the app box. Copy to zero flag. The array length. Jump back to here. Char, so it's the outbox, increment the array, copy to zero flag. Right, copy from 14, which is a zero, and set the loop position to zero. Copy that letter to one. Copy it to char. Copy from the zero flag. It's not zero. Copy from the loop position. Why am I copying from the loop position? Oh yeah, no, that's right. Copy from there. Sub that and that. If it's zero, it's not. So, increment that, decrement that. That needs to go above. All right. C, so we have a C. We have a C, let's discard that one. Reset them, get the next C. Discard that, get the next E. Minus two. If it's zero, copy from jar. Put it to there. Bump the array length. Copy the zero flag. Off we go again. I think we're done. fail. Take the B. Take the D. Didn't reset the zero flag, did it? What point did it mess up the zero flag?
Oh, it doesn't recopy. All right, so at that point, it doesn't recopy the zero flag. Copies the loop position. That works. I, I very find it very hard to believe that that's going to be optimal, though. Yeah, 23. Whew, and that's a lot of steps. We're going to have to work on that one, guys, um, when we come back to some of these and try and get like green lights on all of them. Thank you very much, though, for tuning in. Once again, I do appreciate the continued support and the comments you guys have been leaving on the videos. Please keep them coming. Um, always good to read them and your thoughts and theories on my solutions. As always, though, guys, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya.